Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Quick Poetry Knowledge. This is your hostess Majubin. In today's class, I am going to explain the second sonnet composed by William Shakespeare. Please check out my previous videos on Shakespeare's sonnet first. One of them features the explanation and another features the summary of the first sonnet of Shakespeare. You will find the videos in the playlist and on the end screen of today's video as well. And with that announcement done, let me proceed with today's explanation of Shakespeare's Sonnet Second. When forty winters shall besiege the brow, the poet begins the poem. William Shakespeare begins the poem by addressing the fair youth. He usually addresses he has uh, addressed this fair youth in a number of his sonnets. So, when forty winters shall be seized the brow, that means when your forehead will see forty winters. In other words, when you become forty years old, when you have crossed that uh, age, when you have crossed age forty, when forty winters shall be seized or capture thy forehead and dig deep trenches in thy beauty's field and in your physical form in your physical shape in your beauty deep trenches means deep deep marks would be dug because now you are no longer a young person thy youth that means your youth's proud livery livery means you can say it's a uh, it's a kind of dress up or a drape Thy youth's proud livery, so gazed on now, now that you are a young person, you are often, you are used to seeing people admiring your physical beauty. But when you have crossed 40 winters, at that time, it will be a tattered weed of small word held. But your beauty will become tattered. Means it will become like ragged garments and it will not have much value, small word held. Then... Being asked where all thy beauty lies and at that period of time in the future when you have crossed 40 winters, if somebody asks you where, is, uh, where your beauty is, where is it hidden, where all the treasure of thy lusty days and if somebody asks you where all the goodies of your youth lies now, to see within thine own deep sunken eyes and if you reply that the goodies of your youth, the, your uh, lustful look is now half buried deep within your eyes, is half buried within your eyes, your eyes which have sunk inside, partially sunk inside their sockets because of your advancing age, it would be a matter of great shame where and all eat all eating shame and thriftless praise and then it would be a kind it would be like, be like praising your beauty which would be wasteful you would be you would have wasted your beauty and that would be a matter of shame that all eating shame means all consuming shame because all your life you have never done anything serious to preserve your beauty However, the poet also goes on to say that how much more praise deserved thy beauty's use if thou couldst answer this fair child of mine. So here the poet says that your life would have been more well lived, it would have been more fruitful if in the future when somebody questioned you about your beauty and wanted to know where all that beauty is gone, at that time, if you were able to reply that look at my child, my handsome child, my beautiful child, I have begotten a good looking child, this fair child of mine shall sum my count and make my old excuse. And this fair child of mine, this beautiful child of mine shall sum my count. That means this child will reflect my value or worth. And it would be an excuse to my growing old shall sum my count and make my old excuse 
proving his beauty by succession thine. This child that you have begotten, that you have sired, would prove to be a beautiful one because he has been sired by a handsome, a beautiful man like you. And then proving his beauty by succession thine and he would be inheriting our, your beauty and as a result his existence in the future would be a kind of uh, a proof to mankind that you were indeed beautiful um, uh, although you although you have crossed uh, 40 years of age and you do not re uh, retain your former uh, beauty as before this way to be new made when thou art old and your child would be something new when uh, to show to display to pu to people to humanity this where to be new made when thou art old in your old age you your child would be a living example to show to people that you were indeed as beautiful as this child is now and See thy blood warm when thou feelest it cold and in your old age when your blood becomes colder and colder you will feel you will get to feel that you have lived a well lived uh, you have lived a meaningful life because your beautiful child has um, uh, has the, has blood which is warmer than yours and his beauty is much better than yours and his beauty will be symbolic of how handsome and beautiful be physically beautiful you were in the past this is the main idea of the poet in other words the poet says that if the youth if the if his fair if the fair youth does not make any serious effort to uh, uh, to uh, beget children then his life would be meaningless it would be a life that have not had its share of rewards well that's all for today i really do hope that my explanation of this sonnet has been useful to you check out the playlist for all my poetry related tutorials consider subscribing meet you again very soon bye